The next question is, what place has meditation in life, in daily life? Or meditation is something separate from daily life? Or you introduce the idea of meditation into daily life. You understand my point? There are three problems and more involved in it. That is, you are, medi- you are introducing the idea of meditation, the idea, and to fi- trying to find out what that idea what place that idea has in daily life. First of all, is it an idea that you must meditate, that you must do this, that you must do that? Come to a conclusion and introduce that concept into daily life. Right? Right, sir? You understood that question. Or try to find out what relationship action has with the total awareness of consciousness. You, I don't know, this may be a little. That is. Why should I? Why should one meditate at all? We lead our daily life rather unhappily, uh, shoddily, conflict, hmm? misery, suffering, deceived by others, and so on. That's our daily life. Why do you want to introduce meditation into that? Or in the understanding of conflict, sorrow, arrogance, pride, and so on, in the understanding the meaning, the structure of these things, the reactions, that is part of meditation. Not you meditate and then introduce into action, into daily life, but rather during the daily life, when you go to the office, when you go working in a factory, or ploughing a field, or talking to your wife or husband, girl or boy, you are aware of your reactions, and the comprehension of those reactions, the understanding, not intellectually, but why you are jealous, why this state of anxiety exists in you, why you accept authority, why you depend on another. In the investigation of those things, that exploration itself is meditation. Not the other way around. The other if you put it, if you meditate and then introduce that what you think is meditation in daily life, there's conflict. You think this is so and you are bringing that into action in daily life. So there must be contradiction. Whereas if you if one is envious, as most of us are, what is the nature of envy? Why are we envious? Not right or wrong, we should not be or should be. Why does this envy arise? 
in inquiring into that and freeing through inquiry greed, envy, that is the movement of meditation. In that there is no conflict, you are inquiring constantly. Right? This is this demands your attention. This demands your that you must be serious, not just play with words. So meditation has a place in daily life when there is an inquiry into the whole nature and structure of your being, your reactions, what is the state of your consciousness, why you believe, don't believe, why you are influenced by institutions and so on, so on. All that is, a, is an actual movement of meditation. Right? If one is actually, not theoretically, actually doing it, then you begin to understand the nature of consciousness. Right? Not you are not imposing something on it, according to Freud, according to some psychologist, some guru, or somebody or that. You are inquiring into your whole being. That being is your consciousness. 